I am safe. I am creative. I am worthy. I am love. I am honest. I speak my truth. I am intuitive. I am connected. I am supported. I am safe. I am creative. I am worthy. Good morning. So I haven't actually um, like hopped on and checked in face to face since Thursday and right now it's Saturday morning it's so beautiful it's like 7 a.m. right now um, literally right on the beach so that just took me I don't know a minute from my bedroom door to be on the beach right now gosh I can't believe this it's early morning for me everybody's still asleep but I'm going to I'm in my pajamas, like on the beach right now. This might be a good moment to say I am incredibly grateful to be here. You know, super, super grateful to be here. Say that good things are coming, yeah. Just because it's so, so lovely, honestly, to be able to just listen and enjoy the sound of the water and being this close, I'll probably chill here and do a little morning meditation. No guided or anything, just silent and see what See what comes up generally when i'll do a silent meditation it's just eyes closed i listen i might utilize a mantra because it helps to focus my mind and keep me centered but um if nothing specifically presents itself we'll see so i wanted to meditate yesterday but there was just a lot of chatter and music and i didn't really have the space outside to like be totally alone and silent with myself and I didn't want to go sit on the beach when it's super super sunny because I don't want to get burnt so I think I'm gonna do a little morning meditation which I'm really excited about so greetings from the other side of that meditation I would say I don't know I, like I said I don't have a watch and I don't want to be bothered to go check what time but I would say that was a good hour for me I went through a seven mantra based meditation which I would like to explain to you and I just had that thought that you know it might be helpful for those that either already have a meditation practice are curious about meditation or um, are looking to begin a meditation practice basic things that are incredibly helpful um, when you're establishing your space no space I don't think is ever going to be perfect there are external distractions and that's just life I mean that's going to teach you patience and perseverance when you are establishing the practice itself when you're taking your seat, uh, I always sit on height. It's like pillows right over here. And then having hips above knees, knees below hips, however you want to consider that, cross your ankles. Um, that would be Sukhasana uh, in English, that's your easy seat. And that just makes settling in to a long spine, lifted chest, melted shoulders. It just makes all of those details a little more accessible when you are on height. So that will set you up for success in terms of being committed to stillness and being able to sustain. I'm getting sprinkled somewhere. Anyways, so setting up your seat, really important, your space. I mean, I'm incredibly lucky right now being right on the beach and hearing the ocean. There is a little bit of construction going on to the house next door. They're building a house next door. So there was some noise and quite frankly, it's not that I'm like can't be bothered or I'm not bothered by it, but you just kind of, I don't know tune it out or it just doesn't feel that distracting so anyways setting space is one then as as you start to settle in the the mantras that I use so I go with the energy centers or in Sanskrit your chakras so starting with the root the first mantra that I use is I am safe and the visual for me with eyes closed is I'm visualizing this white light all the way down to the base of my spine for me that's symbolizing purity and I repeat silently to myself, I am safe, I am safe, and that reiteration, that repetition, the visualization for me, that white light uh, is really great as well. So starting with, I am safe. Then moving up to the sacral chakra, mantra there, is I am creative. 
same thing repetition i visualize a white light going down the line of my spine midline of the body and then into the hips so there's white light breathing into that mantra i am creative moving up to solar plexus i use the mantra i am worthy one of my favorites i am worthy same thing the visualization is that white light uh, beaming down through the crown of the head through the spine into the solar plexus so space above your navel and then uh, just between your ribs i am worthy i am worthy really helpful for me and just my own my own path then up into the heart i am love i am love same visual of a white light down through crown of head into the heart space i am love repetition and honestly i probably stay with certain mantras a little bit longer than others just whatever feels natural right and fluid rather than this overthinking or strenuous experience then up into the throat but i use two that link up with each other one i am honest two i speak my truth one i am honest Two, I speak my truth. And those just go hand in hand for me and uh, they resonate really well. Same visual, so that white light begins from crown of head, top of skull, down into the throat, breathing, purity, breathing, life into the words that I am repeating silently to myself. From throat, I am honest, I speak my truth. From the throat, then you're up to third eye, space between the brows. Mantra for that energy center is I am intuitive. And those words for me, they help me to, I suppose, remember the fact that I have a really great read of people. Um, gut feeling is intuitive feeling and you need to really listen to that gut feeling um, because more often than not, it is really powerful. It helps to teach you a lot about yourself and who you let into your circle, who you hold space for essentially. So I am intuitive. That white light then from crown of head here. Another thing I should mention is that as long as it doesn't cause strain, when my eyes are closed, internal gaze, I will look up towards third eye. And sometimes there's this really incredible, almost like light show that you'll experience and the different colors that present itself when I'm specifically doing this mantra meditation is really, really awesome. From third eye. So I am intuitive. Here flip. Last would be crown. I am connected. I am supported. So again, building on two, I am connected. I am supported. Now from higher power, then that white light, it's just, it's at the crown of my head and it stops there. And then it's this visual of the white light purity down to base of spine, back up through crown. And that's what I'm breathing with. On the way down, I am connected. On the way up, I am supported. Sometimes I build on the I am supported, I am supported by source energy. Source energy being higher power. Whatever it is that you like to call that, may that be universe, love, God, grace. I am supported by source energy. So that was probably about an hour. I'm gonna go check the time, grab a cup of coffee right now. But when I can start my day with that meditation, that time to just tune in, it's amazing how powerful coming out of that is. You know, when you first start to move your fingers and you deepen your breath, how connected you are to yourself and how powerful that is because you move forward just feeling so in tune with who you are, where you are, and how you are sharing that with those around you. And how I meditate. Um, if you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up, hair flip again, and subscribe to my channel. Uploading different videos just to kind of figure out what content I'm really enjoying sharing with you guys. And I hope this specifically, uh, this meditation portion was helpful nonetheless. Be kind to yourself, be kind to others, and I will see you all soon. Bye. I am safe. I am creative. I am supported. I am worthy. I am love, I am honest, I speak my truth, I am intuitive, I am connected, I am 